Yo, what is up, beer tubers? Eric back at you with yet another craft beer review. Today we are looking at something that is um, kind of mood setting for the season, or season setting for that matter. It's uh, starting to dip down into the the 40s on the overnights, and it's uh, currently like 55 here in Minneapolis, so it's starting to get cold, the leaves are starting to change. So I thought, what better thing to do than look at a classic example of a Russian Imperial Stout. This one is none other than Old Rasputin from North Coast Brewing Company, clocking in at 9% alcohol by volume, 75% IBU, or 75 IBU, excuse me, and uh, probably one of the most widely available. Um, this is one of those beers that started it all, started the madness for Russian Imperial Stouts for me, and I haven't had it in at least three years, and um, I'm curious to know how much my palate has changed, and where I stand today. So this is a really good test to do so. So I've got it pre-poured out here. It poured a pitch black. Uh, once it hit the glass, it became opaque. It did pour like a, a murky brown. Um, it wasn't opaque, had some ruby hues to it, but had a really astounding amount of carbonation. As you can see, it was up to here on the glass, which is a little bit outrageous. Um, alcohol legs are present, but overall a really nice looking imperial style classic example of style i'm going to keep using that word because north coast knows what they're doing they've been doing this for a long time this is a age-old recipe you know 18th century i think was the i think where they're drawing some inspiration from the brewers but anyways let's get into this one check out the nose <sighs> yeah massive astringent bitterness from the hops and the dark malts Really, really, really roasty, followed by subtle hints of baker's chocolate and milk chocolate. A little bit of smoke and leathery component. Some underlying dark fruits feeling, you know, some of that fusel alcohol is coming through. Kind of detracts from things. But yeah, overall, actually, really nice smelling. Look at the taste. Cheers. Kind of a head scratcher. A um, lot, a lot of roasted malt. A lot of bitterness. This this bottle, I believe, is a year old. But uh, even so, lots and lots and lots of roasted malt characters. Some like like black malt or carafa coming through. Just really, really bitter. Um, really dry. Actually, it's not sweet at all. I don't get any sweetness. I get alcohol. I get those faint hints of chocolate, espresso. Um, they're all very, very muted. And with that said, that brings me to my conclusion, because there's a, not a lot of else to say other than the history of this beer and the widespread availability. Those are two things that are very notable about it, and it's classic to um, Catherine the Great in the Russian court in the historical component. But for me... Uh, I like my uh, Russian Imperial style. It's a little sweeter. Not Dark Lord sweet. Not really Surly Darkness sweet, but um, I, I do enjoy a sweeter stout. And this is just a little too roasty and a little too uh, stringent and bitter for me. Not enough comes through on the chocolate notes and the, the things I like about Imperial stouts. But So with that said, I'm giving this bad boy an 85. Uh, I can't give it a higher rating because I, I truly am not enjoying as much as I remembered enjoying it. It's a well-crafted beer. It's widely available. I'm sure you've all had it once before or have some sitting in your cellar. It is a beer that ages nicely over time, I will say that. But uh, yeah, 85, North Coast, Old Raspy. Check it out, guys. Thanks for stopping by, and uh, let's get back to respecting beer. Cheers.